Welcome to the members only video that I'm putting out for five of these uh, Ma and Pa penny box rolls here that I got. Um, if you haven't checked out the other one, uh, the other video that I put out should be at, out at the same time as this one. Uh, so do check that one out. And uh, here in a second, I'll show where we're at for all those that have watched it. Let's get into these and hit that intro and then I'll break down what we got from the uh, last we're at 15 rolls. This is going to be roll 16 through 20. So let's see what's in these. And hopefully we have some more awesome stuff to find. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. All right, so before we get into these, um, I'm going to show you where we're at with the five rolls from the other video. So this is where you want to skip if you haven't checked out the other video because there are some fun stuff in that video. All right, here we go. So 15 rolls, we have 113 wheat cents, oldest being in 1920, uh, 1927. Um, and you can see the breakdown of the years, mostly 50s and 40s. Um, eight thirties and one from the twenties. Um, we have three of uh, four BU wheats now, two 54 Denver's, a 55 Denver and a 55. Um, old, uh, we have an Indian head scent being 1889 and we have three still scents. Um, maybe I should move stuff around a little bit better. I'm getting better at sorting this whole sheet out. Um, so the other finds, um, four BU 1960 on the Denver's. 7BU 2009s, uh, um, 6 Canadian pennies, oldest being at 1943, a Canadian dime from 1942 in that hunt, so do go check that out, um, a silver dime, uh, it was a Merc dime, I think it was a 1943, I haven't gone back to verify that, um, that was in the very first uh, five rolls there. We hit a proof for 19, uh, uh, yeah, 1974. We have one fitting, and the best find from last hunt is a 1881 Canadian five cent. That is a sterling silver five cent piece there. So that is a really cool find, and that is in the hunt from, uh, that is out. So um, I don't think we're, we're going to be able to beat those rolls, but uh, we will see what we get in here, and hopefully we get uh, some more great stuff. All right, so let's get into these rolls here, and I'm going to top them out, and we're going to check and see what we got. In the 1942 ender, so we got a wheat scent ender there, and uh, I'll pull out the fines, the wheat scents and stuff, and then I'll sort through the rest of the memorials and what have you, um, just to see what we have in the rolls. All right, so we're going to start over here, and we're just going to sort flip through these really quick and see what we got. 77. We got a couple of wheat cents here. 1952. Another one right behind it. This one is a 1940 out of Denver. It's a 52 out of Denver. This first one. And then I got a 1951 out of San Francisco. Not a wheat. We got another wheat here. This one has a little wear to it. Let's see. 1946 out of San Francisco. And then another wheat. 1944. That one's a little worn. It's going to happen. They're old. They are old pennies. So. Sorry about my voice. I think I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold too. On top of everything that's going on. 1936. We have a 36 wheat here. That is our oldest wheat of the hunt so far. We got a Canadian. 1975. That's a 75 Queen Elizabeth. Nice. All right. It's another 2009. That was in pretty good shape too. Put that up here. Got another wheat. Oh, oh, oh. We got a nice wheat coming up. Do you see that? Let's check this one out first, but we have a blazer, it looks like, coming up. 1956. Let me check the rest of these in front of it. 
It looks like we got a nice red scent. Uh, it's got some surface discoloration on it. 1955 out of Denver. Nice. Has some still pretty nice red all over that with some luster. And then the Ender was a 1942 out of Philly. Nice. All right. So let's see. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine wheat cents and a Canadian. But a nice 2009 so far. So that's what we have here for finds. And I may have missed one in here, but uh, we'll see. Again, I'm going to check all these for any varieties or what have you. And then we'll be back with the next roll and uh, any finds if we have them. Okay. Um, no airs varieties in those leftover coins there. So let's crack another roll. Got a 2000 out of Denver on one end. And the other end is a memorial. So let's see what's in between those two. I already see a few wheats in here, so that's awesome. So let's zoom in and we'll take a look at these and I'll try to keep them on camera. You can see them close up. I'm just going to try to flip through these real quick here. And here we go. We got to the first wheat, 1952 out of San Francisco. And we got a couple of wheats back to back here. 1956 out of Philly and then a another 1952 all right let's pull it down looks like we're going to come up on a couple more that are back to back here there's a 30 2009 but uh, here we go a couple more wheat cents back to back and 1949 and a 1958 out of Denver. All right, let's see what else is in here. It's a 59. Almost a wheat set, but not quite. 1959. Yep, does have a memorial back. Ooh, we got an ugly wheat set here on the reverse. 1953 out of San Francisco. Let's put these last bit here. I think I see maybe one more is that a wheat set that is a wheat set 1952 out of denver nice all right so one two three four five six seven wheat cents in that roll nice all right well let me get through the rest of these here and i'll be right back well that roll went pretty quick let's crack another roll and see what we can find in this one all right, we got a 2004 and a 78 on the Anders there. Okay, let's see. Got some wheat scents right off the bat here. Um, let's see. First wheat scent. We have a 1958. It's a decent 1983 out of Denver. I'm set that aside. I'm going to check for that uh, hard to find double ear on that one. Did I miss sweet scent? No, I haven't got to the other one yet. I don't think. All right. 92.80. Next sweet scent. 46. 1946. Nice. And then next we have a 1953 wheat scent. Cool. And right behind it we got another one. 1946 S. And then looks like a couple back. Is that a wheat scent? It sure is. 1958 out of Denver. Awesome. Awesome. I see at least two more in here. Let's uh, pull this over a little bit. Um, sorry I couldn't uh, get a live stream this month for y'all. Um, again, my time is very limited, and this month is really taking a lot of the time. 1950, out of Philly. Let's see. Um, we got one more, it looks like. 1950 out of Philly. 
cool. That 2004 is decent. There. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wheats in this roll. Nice. Not bad. All right. Well, let me. There's a 1970S. It looks like it's been. That one's been polished. It has been polished pretty rough. Someone took a, a wire brush to that and just uh and just polished that coin up. That's what it looks like at least. You can see the marks going across and catching on the rim there. Interesting. All right, well, let me uh, get through these. We'll be right back with the next roll and see how we're doing. And again, uh, I am uh, sorry I couldn't do a live stream for these rolls this month. Just just got so much going on. But I do appreciate all of you for uh, being members and, and helping support the channel. So thank you very much. Um, and I got something uh, special planned to, as a as an extra gift back to y'all for to everyone who is a member. So do stay tuned for that at the end here. All right, let me get through these rolls and we'll be right back. All right, no real finds. That 1970 it looks more like it was uh, washed in acid than uh, actually uh, polished with a a uh, wheel, a wire wheel there. So uh, more of an acid etched coin there. Um, all right, next roll, we got a memorial and a wheat back here. So let's pour these out and see what's in this roll. I see some wheats. Let's see some wheats. All right, so where was the ender? Is this the ender? All right, so 1952 out of Denver. A couple of letters stuck together. There's a 1970. Uh, so I'll check that one for stuff. There's a 63 to check. Spread these out a little bit more. 1951 out of Philly. Let's see, what else do we have? It's 77. We got another wheat here. 1944 out of San Francisco. And then a few more back there. 41 out of San Francisco. Got some decent details there. Let's move those out of the way and let's pull the rest onto the camera here. There's at least one more wheat sent back here. But let's go through these and see what we got before that. Wow. This rolls a little light on wheat scents. Um, here's our fifth wheat scent, 1946 out of Denver. And fourth and, or one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth and last wheat scent. So five wheat scents in that roll. Unless I missed something. Um, yeah, that is all for this roll. Well, that is all for that roll. Had five wheat scents in that one. This is the fifth roll. Um, I had hoped to find some really cool stuff by now. But uh, so far, it's just wheats and a Canadian. We do have a blazer wheat there. Nice red. Wheat scent, so that's pretty cool. Let's check out this last roll here, and I might. If there's nothing in this roll. I might add a few more rolls. Um, being a member son, I want to make sure that there's something, at least one awesome find in here, um, which may or may not happen. Um, like I said, I don't know what's in these rolls, so I can't make anything awesome happen. Uh, here is a older looking one. Maybe. It's a little circulated. It's probably a 40s that's just circulated. 1950. That's the first wheat here. Um, so I'm, I might grab a few more rolls after this one. This one seems to be going pretty quick here. There's a 57. Right behind it, we got a 44. That's a 1944 wheatie. And then right behind that one is another 44 wheatie. All right. Nice. Let's pull these onto the camera here and make sure I'm in the shot. Memorials, memorials, and I'm going to again check all these memorials for anything interesting. And these rolls are heavy Denver, 1950 out of Denver. 
Um, so they are definitely uh, not as much stuff to check for than on the Philadelphia coins. Um, but there's a few things to check for in Denver. Five wheat cents in that roll. All right, so let me get through these, and if there's no awesome finds on any of these coins, um, I might grab a few more rolls. We'll see. We'll see how things go. All right, well, I uh, decided to grab five more rolls. We're going to make this a 10 roll hunt here. Um, even though we do have a good amount of wheats, um, I was hoping for a nice find for y'all being a members only hunt here. There's two holes kind of stuck together here. Interesting. Um, all right, well, let me get into these five holes. Whatever we find here, even if it is just wheat cents, this is going to be all for this hunt. Um, but I do want to have, uh, I'm just hoping for something a little more exciting out of these rolls for y'all. So let's see what we get. Oh, I see we have a wheat scent and a uh, Canadian. An old Canadian at that. So let's just go here to the middle and pull those out. We have a 1945 wheat and a King George sent from 1952 last year of the uh, last year of the king george before elizabeth's nice that's cool all right let's flip through the rest of these and see what else we have here um let's see right behind the king george was a 51 wheat let's see what else we have here it's memorial Memorials. Ooh, we got a nice blazing red wheat scent here. Let's see what date we have. Oh, wow, it's a 44. That is a 44 blazer. Very cool. I was not expecting it to be pre 50s. 44 blazing red scent. Wow, that is a nice find there. We have a 53. Uh, wheat scent out of San Francisco. And then we have a 1936. I believe that's our second 36 of the hunt. So tied for the last the oldest date there. And got this one, 1947 out of Philly. We have one more. Well, that's a pretty nice 2009 there. Nice. Right, so I'm going to put it up here with the other one to check against the album. One more wheat scent in the box in this roll here. 1950. Nice. That was a nice roll. That was more along the lines of what I was talking about. A 44 blazer red scent here. I'm going to put it up here with the other blazer red scent. So seven wheat scents, including that 44 blazer, and then a 52 Canadian. Nice. Very cool. All right. That was a fun roll. All right. After that. Last roll, there's some fun finds on that one. Let's check and see what's going on here. Um, looks like a memorial on that end. Uh, but uh, partly, it's hard for me to stop going through these rolls. So uh, not having like uh, some awesome finds just gave me an excuse to go through some more right now. So <laughs> that's another reason why I chose to go through more there. So first one, we have a 1949 out of Philly. Got another wheat here. 1951. Some pretty decent red scents there. Nothing fancy. Nothing's going to win awards there, but uh, decent quality. Looks like next we have a 1946 out of Philly. And then, let's see, what is this one? This is a, yeah, this is really worn wheat set. Uh, looks like a 40, 40 something. It's a 40s for sure. Let's see, looks like a 44 there. Next wheat set, 36. It's your third 36 of this hunt. Nice. It's nice to get some 36, some 30s in here. We have one wheat set sitting off to the side. Ooh, it's got some scratches. It's a 1946. That is all scratched up. Oh, we got another George. We got another George. 
George from 1947. Nice. It has a little maple next to the 47. Maple leaf right there is what it looks like. I don't know if that's common or not. Or if that's something that was just on those at that date. I'm going to have to look that up and see what's going on with that one. Then our final wheat set is in 1946 here. Um, yeah, so that is it for... Looks like that's what's in this roll here. So one, two, three, four, seven plus a forty-seven uh, Canadian. Nice. Okay, next roll. This one that looks like it was put together. Yeah, I guess it had some. Maybe it wasn't staying closed, and they stuck another one on. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it was two kind of stuck together. All right. Oh, we got a fun find in here. We have a fun find in here. We have a Canadian silver dime, it looks like. 1940. Nice. That is a Canadian silver dime from 1940. How about that? I do in I do like the boat on the for on the uh, silver dimes. Um, the Canadian silver dimes. Are they still on the new dimes? That is an awesome find there. Very cool. I'm going to set that kind of right there so we can take a gander while I sort through the rest. Very cool. That is another silver dime from this box. We got a 44 wheat. Got another wheat here. A 57. We might have a little bit of a die chip on the 7. Nope, just some just some uh, discoloration, some dirt or something there. Oh, another really nice and shiny 2009. Put that up there. And then 57 out of Denver. Nice. These next these next five rolls have been awesome. Um. Yeah. All right. We do have a few more wheats coming up here. Let's flip through these. And it looks like we have one here. It looks like it's a little bit warm, but what date is it? 1939. It has a little bit of the wood grain effect. That is a little bit of a woody. Nothing nothing major, but uh, still pretty cool looking. Holy cow. Holy cow, do you see that? Do you see that? This is an awesome roll. 1901 Indian headset. This one is really rough shape, beat up, nits and dings all over it. But that is a 1901 Indian headset. Very cool. That's very awesome. Awesome. 1955S there. That is an awesome roll. And then the rest are memorials. Wow. Some nice finds in here. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six wheats. But we did get a, a silver dime, a Canadian one, and an Indian headset. Very cool. Who puts an Indian headset here? We'll toss the silver dime over there. And yeah, let me get through these and see what we got. We got two rolls left. These five rolls have been uh, just on fire. Very cool. Kind of glad I made this a, a ten roll hunt instead of a five roll hunt nice all right that was a really cool roll there awesome awesome finds in that roll that one's going to be tough to beat but let's continue if uh, we just get regular wheat sense we found some awesome finds in these rolls and uh yeah 10 rolls i'm gonna have a hard time stopping stopping the hunt after these rolls <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make myself stop so we can uh, enjoy this a little bit longer. Stretch it out a little bit further. 1956 out of Denver. You know, 1956 back to back 56 is out of Denver, followed by a 45 out of Denver. Nice, nice. Uh, next one we got another 56 out of Denver. Cool. Let's see, let's see. Next sweet scent. 1956. 
we go, 56. Let's see, looks like a 57 out of Denver. It is 57 out of Denver. Let's pull this down a little bit. Let's flip through these. 69 out of San Francisco does not have doubling on it, unfortunately. That would be awesome if it did. Let's see. 1941. Then a 1952 out of San Francisco. And let's keep going here. I think we got one more in the roll. Nope, that's the 60s. And that is all for this roll, it looks like, unless I missed something. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight wheat cents in that roll. Very nice. Nice solid roll there. All right. One roll left. Let's see what's in that one. Okay. Last roll. Let's see what's in here. Final roll of the hunt. It was a fun hunt so far. Um, lots of fun finds. Ton of wheat cents. Um, some really cool stuff in some of those rolls. But let's see what's in this final roll here. Um, I am seeing some Wheaties, which is pretty expected from these rolls. Uh, 45, Wheaty. Right behind it, we have a 51. And then a few coins over. 56 out of Denver. Cool. Just pull these more onto the camera. And I'm sorry if I do have stuff off the camera. I'm trying to keep it all on the camera here. And I am zoomed in really far. Figured if I kept it in, zoomed in all the way. 1940 out of San Francisco. You could see the coins coming up a little bit better. Let's see what I'm going through here. 1953 out of San Francisco. Denver. Denver, I mean. Um, yeah, so if you... Uh, Next time, if I do this, if you want me to be a little more zoomed out, I can do that. Um, so just let me know in the comments. 71, and yep, that is it. One, two, three, four, five wheat cents to round out this hunt, it looks like. Um, yeah, let me get this all cleaned up, and then we'll be back and know with the breakdown here. All right, I'm gonna try to do this hands-free because we got so many finds here. Um, but we'll start off up here. Three Canadians, 75, 52, and 47. Now the 47 there has that maple leaf there. In uh, 1948, they didn't have 1948 dies ready. So they did another run of 1947s and they put a maple leaf on there to differentiate from the uh, normal 47s and then the run of 47s they did in uh, 1948. So the uh, ones with the maple leaf are the ones from 1948. There is a blunt seven and a pointed seven. This is the pointed seven. The blunt seven is a little more scarce and rare, um, but still pretty cool find. Um, I believe the uh, pointed seven with the maple leaf has more minted than the normal one without the maple leaf. So there's that. Um, then we ended up with uh, 430s, even that one and that one with that little wood grain effect there. Two Blazers, a 44 and a 55 out of Denver. Very nice coins. And then some more awesome finds here. A 1940 Canadian Dime and a 1901 Indian Headset. And then we had a ton of 40s and 50s. 24 from the 40s. And um, 36. 36, 36 from the 50s, not counting these two, so 25 and 37. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of really cool finds in here. Now the 1944 here would go on my album, is in really nice shape, really nice condition, but I do have one that has some nice album toning already in there, and it's pretty good shape, so I'm, uh, I can't upgrade that. The 55 Denver is about the same as the one I have in there, so I'm not going to worry about that one as well. Um, so yeah, I do have a few up here I'm going to check and see, um, if those upgrade or not, but otherwise, that is it for this hunt. 
Um, awesome finds, 10, 10 more rolls of these mom and pop mini boxes and, and a ton of stuff going on there. Oh, and before I forget, um, I'm gonna start uh, next month. I'm gonna do a monthly giveaway for members only. And I'm probably gonna do a monthly giveaway for everyone, non-members and members. Um, although I might not start that one in August, I might start that one in September. But uh, I'm going to do a monthly giveaway. It's going to be something simple. It could be, you know, a silver quarter or um, silver or, or dime or, you know, a gold bag or something. Something simple, something easy. And I'll probably do that for every month for the members. And um, put out a video showing you what, what kind of giveaway we got going on. And uh, make sure everyone who is a member gets in to win um, on that video. So do look forward to that. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, help me out, drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.